Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome, welcome, welcome back to another Saturday, which means it is time for another Nos Watches Psycho Psyss. So, in the last episode, we had the death of our little, our little art villain, and, and yeah, like, profiling doesn't work, doesn't, doesn't sorry, profiling doesn't exist in this world, so, oh boy, it, it was literally came down to, oh boy, we used our brains and we caught her, oh no, I can't believe it, I can't believe that actually doing police work gets someone caught, oh boy, and it just kind of like, yeah, I just kind of had this, like, a epiphany that this entire thing just like yeah it follows it follows how these sorts of fucking things work to a T and I guess like there was another explanation like well yeah of course profiling doesn't exist because I mean if you think like a criminal it raises your fucking uh, crime coefficient you big stupid idiot haha <laughs> that's why Coke can do it because he's a big dumb crime and I'm like fair enough but you mean also also like the fact that it seems like it never even crossed their minds means that, yeah, no, people are just a kind of freaking stupid. But let's see how these big dum-dums do, shall we? And, and see where they go after this uh, with all these uh, villains who are higher up. In three, two, one, and go. Yeah, like, the, the, the villains who are, like, higher up on this, like, it's... It's interesting, like, it, 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 it's, it's a cool gimmick. But I'm hoping, like, we get, like, a proper motivation for them, you know? I feel like everybody got dumber because of this sort of, uh, because of this sort of society. Gamers rise up. Yep, she's she's gonna get vanished. Man, what did I tell you about doing that profiling shit, man? You're gonna get me in trouble again. Oh, well, that's unexpected. That's hmm. All right then, neat. Like, I mean, I actually wasn't expecting this guy to be a, be a decent boy. Oh boy, here I go! Profiling again! Oh god, like... This show is so... silly sometimes, you know? Just... Like, I'm trying to like just put into words, like, exactly what it is. It's like, I feel like if you dumped someone from, like, the modern day in here, like, and you gave them access to, like, evidence and all this, I feel like it would, the problem would be solved, like, like that almost, you know? It's like someone who's not just following what the what the nice lady inside the guns wants me to do would very easily figure out, okay, there's no way these people are working in a vacuum. And instead of trying to, like, kill them and, you know, being extremely blatant about everything, like, I mean, they, like, Ryoko saw them coming a mile away. Like, there was, a sh there was plenty of time for her to get out. Um... Yeah, like after the after the drone guy, I feel like the idea would be like, okay, this is going, this is this is this is sus as hell, and attempts to capture instead of kill would be would be made. Like even those that are above the kill, above the kill uh, ranking, you know. I don't know. Like, the main thing holding these guys back is the fact that all they do is follow what the gun tells them to do. The, the fact that their clothes are all hologram... 
The fact their clothes are all holographic is like like that that has to have some repercussions, right? Doesn't it? I mean all your clothes don't actually exist. It's just hard light. Like, does that ever fail and someone's just left like butt ass naked in the Like just you know? Speculation circuit, Jesus. Like you see, like did the holograms ever fail and someone just went up butt ass naked in the in the middle of the street? Is that a crime? Do you get does someone just hit you with a dominator for that? Oh, that guy looks like a deer in headlights, just like Wait, yo, what? Dude just, dude just took his brain out and went like, nah, I'm done. I'm done. Just, just pull me out and put me in a, in a fucking better body. I'm out. Later, fam. Uh, CG car, re. Bad mood is his default. So you straight up can't can't smoke anywhere. Otherwise the robots will try and bite your ass. Yesterday I punched a hole in a wall and a, and a hole in the guy behind the wall. I have never felt more alive. And is there really a is it really a shelf life on the brain? Re is is there really? I mean, so long as it's kept well maintained, I don't see why a brain would have a shelf life. It's not like it's not like it's a muscle. You know, like it's not a muscle like the heart. Like the human heart can only go for. I think, like, the most someone has tested, like, is, like, 120 years or some shit like that. Because it's a muscle, so eventually it gives out. But... But the brain, no, it's, like... It's, it's not a muscle, it doesn't have any moving parts, like... Hmm... Well, those people are wrong! That guy couldn't have got a body that's slightly less creepy. Like, I mean, that's the only issue with cyborgs. Like, Gen 1s... Gen 1s are gonna be creepy as hell. Like, like that right now. The man doesn't blink, his teeth look like fucking tombstones. But what if you were your own AI secretary? Oh, I just kill myself straight out. <laughs> I actually did. I actually had posed a similar question, question to this to someone uh, who was super who just didn't understand transhumanism, and like that was actually their answer. She's just like, you know, I just kill myself, fam. Everything, everything I've got, like I mean, it's irreplaceable. So yeah, no, I just, yeah, I'm gone. <laughs> it's kind of fucked up. I can't believe we're just getting, like, actual just... We're getting cyborg... Like, I mean, we're getting cyborgs and the question of, of, of transhumanism in here. It's weird that that's coming up so often in stuff I... Stuff I... I... Media I consume. CG car! Eee! 
I miss when I miss when they didn't use CG in anime as much because it looked even worse. Oh my god, he's a hipster. Oh my god, that's a freaking hipster. Holy shit. All he needs is a man bun, and he's and that's like a perfect hipster right there. He's got the scarf and the sweater and everything, and he can't grow a beard for shit. Oh my god, does he have a man- he does have a man bun. He does have a man bun. Oh, please tell me that was just a shadow. No, show me the man bun! I need to know this man's level of hipster! Oh god. What the hell are you talking- How are you able to tell that just from looking at her, my dude? How? How do you- how- where are you getting this from? Okay, so what the hell? Okay, so there's profiling and then there's that shit. Please explain. Yeah, but they don't manifest that. Mm. Can you explain some of those signs? No, he doesn't have a man bun, goddammit. Oh, dude, that's some horse shit. No, you cannot pull all of that from just someone sitting there watching, like, some, sitting there watching someone drink coffee. That's some absolute goddamn nonsense. That man cheated, looked her up on Facebook before she got there. I mean, after all, they've been seen on the camera. An outdated method, you say? Then how come it's it's the thing that caught that artist girl? Like, uh... Like... God, like, I, I, I hate when shows do this. Like, this is actually kind of started pissing me off now. Like, profiling isn't just magic. Like, you can't just look at someone and be like, Ah, yes, your mother, when, you were, when she was five, she slapped you on the face and said you were an accident. And then your father said, Yes, I know, I forgot the napkins. Like, no, you can't just do that shit. It's a skill score in D&D. &D. What did, what did, if that's what it used to mean, then what does it mean now? Like, for I am actually getting very annoyed with this show, though. Like... I feel like it's trying to be smarter than it is. Like, there's some really cool things. There's some, like, really cool things, like the fact that, like, yeah, they're, they're living in a... They're living in an authoritarian state, so, like, people are kind of dumb, and there's some other stuff going around. But... <sighs> like, the making the characters so dumb, it's just, it's, like, an excuse to make, make it easier to weave a story where they're, they're, they've got this mastermind. Because if you make the heroes dumber, you don't have to make the, the villain that smart either.
Wait, so... Well, did nobody see this teacher's face? You couldn't get, like, a composite... So you couldn't even get a proper composite from eyewitnesses, eyewitness accounts? Oh, yeah, he's about five foot seven. He's got white hair. He looks like a bishi anime boy. Like... Okay. Is it that they don't like profiling? Yeah, there it is. Profiling, profiling can cloud your, cloud your thing. All right. Because you're such a pure little babby. Okay, so... Ah, so you have to be special in order to profile without clouding your crime coefficient. Alright, fair enough. It's almost as if the civil system is really, really dumb. And maybe the police should be exempt from it, and so they can actually look at crimes easier. Ugh. Oh yeah, and he was the hunter guy, yeah. For, for, I, I honestly, I, for, I forgot about him for a second there. Can you even smoke that? How- if you're a cyborg, how can you smoke that? Oh my god. Now I'm very done. Now I'm very done with this. Like... It's another one of those stories where, hey look, this guy, this guy became a cyborg and then immediately became a sociopath that kills people to absorb their youth like a fucking crazy person. I... I am so done in rings, because I hate th I hate this premise. I fucking hate this premise. Because this premise has been done to death, and it's never... Like, making yourself a cyborg, yeah, y it, there's going to be an adjustment period, and not everyone's going to do it without being a sociopath, but... <sighs> like... Like just because you've like just because you've become a cyborg or you've got or you've like do people who get like like prosthetic limbs suddenly decide they're going to use it to choke out babies? Usually no. Sometimes, but usually no. God damn it, I hate this. I hate this frigging premise so much. This system is dumb. This system is dumb. Like, 
Like, it, at the start of the show, I was like, okay, that's kind of inefficient, but I mean, it's really controlling, so okay, fair enough, but... Like, as we've gone on, like, more and more and more stuff... More and more stuff has come to light regarding, like, the psych psychopaths and, like, how the society works and what they can and can't do and what makes your psychopaths get cloudy. Like, it's at a point where it's so inefficient and so bloated and so roundabout that frigging any dictator worth their salt would look at this and go like, What the fuck? What on earth? Why on earth would you make something so inefficient? Mein Gott! You know, like, it's, it's, oh, God, like, your cops can't profile people. You know, usually when you're running a secret police, you make them immune to getting pinched by the secret police. For the sake of efficiency. Ugh. Like, seriously, it's getting dumb. It's getting dumb right now, my dude. Yeah, and that's uh, that feels so, that feels like something that's that shouldn't be happening. Like <laughs> for real, like that's so fucking dumb. Like especially since now we know that like so much is like actually doing police work will cloud your crime coefficient. Like even if the idea is to try and prevent people from having wrong think. Like, there gets to a point where it's like, like, the constraint is too hard. Like, it's too hard of a constraint in order to have a functioning society. The whole point... The whole point of, of this, of the civil system is to control the, is to control the populace. But... Ugh... I don't know, man. Like, we're, we're hitting a point where it's like, oh man, no, that's ridiculous. We're getting to the silly point. You look like a very happy boy. Oh, boy. All right, so... So, as a whole, I don't hate this episode. But, as more information is being given, I'm starting to really dislike this setup. Because it... Like, at first, with the information we were given at first, like, oh, okay, that's cool. So you have... So, so the police don't think so hard. The... Like, they've got enforcers to do the dirty work. So if a policeman has to get their hands dirty, then they've got someone who they can just throw on the, throw on the fire. So that, you know, they don't have to actually cloud their... cloud their psychopaths. But now it's like, instead of having an interesting villain, you just have, like, Cyborg, who's... Cyborg, who has completely lost track of humanity because... Reasons like it's so done to death. Like I feel like there's no, there's nowhere for that to go. That's interesting. Like, <laughs> like, like it, it's it's the oldest. It's the oldest. It's the oldest frigging thing. Is like man finds way to get around to get around aging, becomes immortal, like becomes a cyborg, becomes a vampire, becomes whatever and it's just and it's it's like i said it's it's a tale as old as time like and it's just they can be then they just start killing people or they start like abusing people or it's like like you know this helps me feel alive or it helps me get around or like 
Like, it's like, oh, it makes me young again. It's like... It's so dumb, and it's so cliched, and I really didn't... I really didn't expect the guy who did Madoka Maguka to go for something that on the nose. Like, which came first, this or Madoka? Because Madoka is such a breath of fresh air, like... <sighs> that this is starting to feel trite, and it's like... I, feel, I expected more, you know? I, I expected more. Um... I don't know, man. I, I don't know. Friggin... I'm just kind of disappointed. I'm just kind of disappointed. Um... I mean, like, making, making, like, trophies out of, like, her, out of her bones and all that, that was kind of neat, but... <sighs> like... I don't know. I, I don't know, like, what, what you could have done in his place. I don't know. I mean, if you wanted to keep him as a cyborg and keep him as a villain, maybe have it that people that... Maybe instead of have it be like, oh, in order to be young again, I need to kill people. Blah. Maybe it's make it, like, he's been alive for so long that... I don't know. Like, make it so, like, he's been alive... Say, like, have him have been alive for 300 years. Have him be 300 years old. And he's, like, a marvel of, marvel of ingenuity. And... He's at a point where he's bored. Yeah, there's no... The hunting licenses aren't allowed anymore. And he's discovered that because he's a robot, he's immune to the, to the psychopath system. Like, he can't be tracked on it. So instead, what he does is he organizes hunts. He's like Craven the Hunter. He organizes hunts in order to basically get his blood pumping again. It's not like to make him feel young or... Or any of that bullshit. It's because he's 300 years old. Human life, like, average human life has, like, not lost meaning, but it's like, oh, it's just only, it's only one. It's only one person. Come on. One person every few months. No one will miss that. And he's just doing it in order to have something to do. And I know that sounds like the thing I rail against, where it's like, oh, you mean the guy's doing this because he's bored? <laughs> but. This is different in that it's existential boredom. The guy has conquered death. He's immortal. Like, giving him something, give, giving him a boredom that is more of just a statement of, yeah, it, you, everybody wants to be immortal, but once you're immortal, what do you do with it? Like, that's kind of the thing, you know? Like, and that's like actually like a, a boredom that you're like, oh man, that's actually pretty good motivation. But here it's just like, I need to feel alive again, so I'm going to smoke this dank kush out of this pipe made out of her bones. Like, it's just so fucking stupid, and it's so basic, like, it's the... It is like, it is like, if you open up your, your book, big book of story contrivances, it is on page one, and it is... And it's like, yeah, hey, do this for ba Babby's first story, like... It's dumb, and it, and the story, this sort of story, like, leads back to the whole romantic, romantic fiction, where, like, the whole idea was, science bad, science bad, I don't like science, science bad, yeah, and, like, and the only reason was because the romantics didn't understand how science worked, like, Mary Shelley wrote Frankenstein, because she doesn't, because she saw a, a, a thing where a guy had electrocuted a frog and made the frog jump through, like, electrical impulses. So she went like, oh, I don't like that, you could be bringing people back from the dead, oh, I don't like that, science bad, science bad. And she wrote a piece of shit book that's absolutely garbage, and I, anybody who says they like Frankenstein has not read the fucking book, because the book is awful. The only good Frankenstein media is the movies, the shit that came later. And because the book was so awful, they had to adapt it so hard. Like, like the little assistant is like, yes, my master, I throw the lever. That's, that's, uh, that's movie only. It's anime only. Um, the whole, uh, it's alive. Movie only. The lightning, the, the lightning bolt coming down from the heavens and, str and striking the monster to bring it alive. Movie only. Like, everything cool about Frankenstein. Movie only. 
Like, it's, it's like an anime that took a really shitty manga and went like, okay, hang on, to adapt this, I need to do some stuff because this is absolute garbage. Like, I'm a, like, just... And it's, and it's, like I said, and it's because the entire point of Frankenstein was science, yeah, I hate science. Because the story isn't even about Fra Victor Frankenstein, it's not about his monster, it's about a guy taking a boat to the North Pole... Uh, and where he discovers Victor Frankenstein, and Victor Frankenstein tells him the whole story. So you're not even getting the story from a for, from a primary source. You're getting it from a secondary source. And then in the end, Victor Frankenstein's like dying of consumption of consumption and, consumption and science, and goes, "Look, sometimes you just got to give up on your dreams. I wanted to create life. Instead, instead, I made a monster because you know science, bad." And then the guy goes, okay, you know what, fuck the North Pole. You know what, we don't have to discover the entire world. Because that's the whole thing of the, that's the whole thing for those people. Like, anything that changes the status quo, they don't like. Um, and it's the same thing, and it's the same thing here. It's like, this, th this thing is slightly different from the average human experience. I don't like it. Ergo, it makes the man a psychopath. Ha ha, look at me, I'm so edgy. Like, it's, it's a storytelling trope, and I hate it. It's, it's literally, it's from the Romantics, and the Romantics were hacks. Like, they're all stupid. Fucking Mary Shelley's husband, who was so unimportant that I've completely forgotten his name, killed himself by drowning himself in a lake in Scotland after discovering that his wife was cucking him by fucking Lord Byron. Mary Shelley died of an STD she got from Lord Byron, I'm pretty sure. Lord Byron decided he wanted to go fight in the Greek Revolution and went and died like an idiot. While also having syphilis, which probably didn't help. Um, like, friggin', like, it wasn't even like, a, like, he just, he's just, like, he just wanted to be a hero. And so he just f found a revolution that was going on and went... Yeah, no, I'll sign up for that. I don't know what's going on. I don't know which side's good. I'll sign up for that. I just want to be a big dick hero. Because I'm Lord Byron. Like, dude has a statue in Greece. Because they because they thought he was a big dick G. Fucking stupid. The romantics are stupid. Absolutely. You could delete them from history. and Like, oh, we, we lose Frankenstein. We lose Frankenstein, which is unfortunate. But, I mean, we have the rest of the classic monsters to fill in the gaps. But it's like, yeah, delete, the, delete this sort of plot from history, delete this idea, and nothing of value is lost. And the same thing, I can say the same thing with Psychopaths right now. It's like, like you had a really cool story where you had a dystopian uh, authoritarian thing and commentary on that sort of government, and instead you've made it, instead you've just made it a fucking basic bitch Science, bad. Like, even if this guy disappears after two episodes, like, it shows the level of thought that's being put into this, and it's none at all. Like, I mean... And it, and it, which is weird, because, like, enough thought is being put into it in order to basically make it very easy to write in that... You can you can make anything mysterious for your our protagonists because our protagonists are forced by the system they're in to be dumb as doornails, where basic police profiling is almost a superpower. Like, like I said before, it's 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 a it's it's another like storytelling device. It's like if you are if you if you're incapable of making a villain smart enough to be you know, believable as, like, this big, this big, like, big smart boy, then just make the heroes dumber. Like, that's, that's, it's an old, it's an old storytelling thing. Just make your hero dumb enough that, like, you can set your, you can just set your, your villain at an average intellect. And, and then it just solves the problem. Like, it's... And it's like, and it's getting to the point where it's actually sabotaging the idea of the psychopaths. It's like, as a government like this, it runs on efficiency. Things need to be as efficient as possible. When people get pinched for crimes, they need to be tried and tried and or executed as quick as, as quick as they can be, which is what the Dominator is for. But at the same time, finding them should also be efficient. So making it so that 
It's making it so that, like, actually doing police work is something that Sybil has tagged as a negative, negative uh, crime coefficient. That's... That's dumb. That's inefficient. That's stupid. And it would lead to the deconstruction of, like, of the thing. So, it's like, the, the entire... The entire fact of, act of policing is on the enforcers, who are criminals themselves. The inspector... What do the inspectors even do? What do they actually do? Because if they can't do police work, if they can't really... If they can't fire the gun, unless, like, they, like unless it's absolutely necessary, yeah, if they can't... Like, what do they do? There is no reason for inspectors to exist other than to watch over the enforcers, but the enforcers are... The enforcers outnumber the inspectors. So it's like, oh, you're there to be my, you're there to be my guardian, huh? Well, it's a good thing I don't want to just kill you and escape. Like, oh, it's this is this is such a good premise, and I don't understand why it's why it's being tossed out with the with the fucking bathwater, my dude. It's hmm, there are problems. And there are really big problems. Like, like, you could drive a boat through some of these holes. God damn it. Dude, I just... I li like, overall, like, I like this, I like this episode. Because you had, like, the cool thing with the cyborg and all that. But, like, once you stop and think about it, you're like, Wow, this is really dumb. This is dumb to the point of idiocy. Why? But, there you go, I guess. Jesus Christ. Alright, well, yeah, that's all I have to say. Let me know what you think down there in the comments. Do you agree with me or disagree with me or, you know, whatever. Um, and let me know down in the comments, if you were to set up a Sybil system, if you were to set up a system like this, what would you, what would you have it set to? Honestly, I would have it set so that anybody acting in a police capacity is is immune to the crime coefficient. Like, if you have to go, if you have to go profiling, then okay. Like, if you're doing it in a police capacity, you're good. It's not going to affect your crime coefficient, you're good. But if you start doing that shit on your free time, okay, maybe that's a bit sus. Maybe that's a bit sus. You know, it's like... Like, I mean, yeah, it's like, a Ko like Ko uh, Ko Kogami's uh, whole thing of like, oh yeah, if someone dives into the swamp, then, you know, sometimes they come out a bit dirty. Well, yeah, but... That's the thing, they have therapy in this world. So if someone starts acting weird after being a policeman, then therapy. Take them to therapy, get their crime coefficient lowered, and if it's and if they are just a bad person and exposing them to, to profiling fucks them up, well hey, congratulations, you fat the system works. Like, but having it like be by default raise your crime coefficient, like no, like there are plenty of cops who profile that aren't killers. Like, it's really dumb for him to be like, oh yeah, but it takes a special kind of person to not get wet. Like, no, it fucking doesn't. Like, I'm honestly, I'm really feeling like this whole thing is written by someone who doesn't understand how what they're writing works. Like, it's ridiculous. Um, yeah, I, that's what I think. I think, like, for the most efficient totalitarian regime, you need to make the police exempt from this shit. The police need to be exempt from psychopaths. And if the police do crimes, well, that's what internal affairs is for. But in this case, internal affairs is extremely heavily armed. You know, like, still keep track of their psychopaths, but, like, don't, like, keep it, like, keep it sequestered where it can't be, like, accessed by anybody who's not internal affairs. You know, so it's like, if it becomes a problem and they start doing crimes, all right, all right, fam. There you go, go shoot them. But there you go. There you go, I guess. Anyway, yeah, as always, I am Nozovix. Remember to like, comment, favorite, subscribe, share with me to tell your friends, and I'll see you in the next video. But most importantly of all, become a trash mammal today. And I will see you a round.